What's good, YouTube? It's your man Rage King back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, ask if y'all please go down there and hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, and hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rebel Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe. And y'all, as you see right here on your screen, I know I'm a little bit late to it. I know I'm a little bit late to the party. Please forgive me. But between work and throwing up other videos and working on other content, this took a back seat. I understand. I know that the game is coming out next week. Uh, next week, Rage King gonna go ahead and get it for y'all. I'm gonna stream it for y'all. Y'all know that. Y'all know I got y'all. Y'all know I got y'all. But before we get to that, we got some business to handle. You understand what I'm saying? Now I have not seen these ratings. This is pretty much me doing a blind reaction to it, y'all. So with that being said, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna read these roster ratings, see who's in the game and what their ratings are, and I'm gonna get my thoughts as we go on, man. So let's get it. All right. AJ Styles a 91. Okay, cool. Akira Tozawa, I would have bumped his up to an 80, just being honest. That's just me. Alexa Bliss, an 84. Okay, I'm glad that they finally, because, you know, for those that's been playing, you know, wrestling games for a while, they always seem to have the females, you know, the highest rated female probably be like an 80, 81, 85. So I'm glad that they're using the, the rating scales, you know, for the women. They're giving them their own class of ratings, and then they're giving the men their own class of ratings, too. So I'm, I'm behind that. Alexander Wolf of 77. Uh, is he even does he, is he still in NXT uh, UK? Y'all let me know down in the comment section. Andre the Giant. So we got some legends. Andre the Giant at 88. I would have easily made him a 92. Um, it's Andre the fucking Giant. Um, Angel Garza, 79. All right, I'd have bumped that to about an 82. Angelo Dawkins, an 80. Why? Like him and, and Montez Ford having been multiple multiple time tag team champions, why are they not at least an 85? Apollo Cruz at 81, former Intercontinental Champion. I would have bumped him up to about an 84, 85. Arya Davari, is he even still with the company? If so, he I, I'd have left him alone. I'd have gave him about a 72. I'm not even gonna count. Uh, Asuka, 90. That's good for her. I wish WWE would put her back on fucking television already. Austin Theory, 80. He just got there. I can see that. Batista is in the game. Batista is an 88. Why? Are we talking like today's Batista, Batista of a few years ago, or are we talking prime Batista? If we talking prime Batista, that should have easily been a 92. But, you know... Older Batista, whatever. Big Booty Bailey at 88. I think they gave her 88 because the number 88 looks like two big old butt cheeks standing right next to each other. And that's exactly what Bailey got. Two big old butt cheeks just sitting right next to each other. Moving on. Becky Lynch at 92. I can see that. I can see that. She, you know, dominant champion. I can see that. Legend Beth Phoenix. WWE Hall of Famer Beth Phoenix is only an 87. Um... I'm guessing they're using the modern Beth Phoenix and not prime Beth Phoenix. Bianca Belair is an 87. She should be right up there with Becky at a 90. I would have made her about a 90, 91 because she's, you know, won the main event of a of a WrestleMania. You know, has been dominant ever since she lost to Becky. She's only lost really one or two times since, you know, since she called, got called up to the main roster. So I don't know why she's not a 90. But that's just my opinion. These are all my opinions, by the way. Big Boss Man is an 81, should be about an 85. Big E at 87, I'm okay with that. I would have, but I would have pushed him to an 89, honestly, because he's been he was recently a WWE champion. Like, come on, now he should have at least got an 89 for just recently being a world champion. Uh, Billy K, uh, someone who's not even with the company anymore, 77. Wow. Bobby Lashley at 91. All right, I'd, that should have been a 93, but at least he's in the 90s. Booker T, WWE Hall of Fame. I guess they're using a modern-day Booker T. He's an 88. Cool. Braun Strowman, someone who's no longer with the company. A 90. Okay. Brett the Hitman Hart, a legend, 91. Brock Lesnar, a 94. Okay. All right. Cameron Grimes, a 79. I'm okay with that. He's in NXT. Candice LeRae, a 77. She's a mom now, so that's about a good rating for her. Carmella, I'm cool with that rating. Cedric Alexander, a 76. Y'all have Cedric fucking Alexander rated lower than most of the women on the roster. Motherfucker, why? Have y'all lost y'all fucking minds? Cedric Alexander, 76 overall. Unfucking believable. 
Cesaro, no longer with the company, only an 84 overall. What in the fuck? How is he not an 88? How is he easily not an 88? Guess that's what happens when you got dumbasses that don't know shit about wrestling making the game. Chad Gable, a 76. Why only a 76? The disrespect to Cedric Alexander and Chad Gable. My God. Charlotte Flair, a 90. Okay. The ninth wonder of the world. Rest of the soul. God rest of the soul. China, 87. I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Though I will say this. If she was in her prime and facing Charlotte Flair, she would be beating her ass. Dakota Kai, a 79. All right. Damian Priest, an 84. That should be an 87. Dana Brooks, 74. She's barely on TV, whatever. Danny Burch, a 77. Y'all let me know if he's still in NXT UK. I haven't heard too much about these guys. The Demon Finn Balor, a 90. I'm okay with that. That's, same, that's about one of the few ones that actually got right. Next to Loomis, a 79. Okay, I'm cool with that. Big Daddy Cool Diesel, an 87. All right, all right. That's, that's good for him. Dolph Ziggler, 82. I had to put him at an 85, but I'm not. I, that's not terrible. Dominic Mysterio, 79. That's about where I would have put him. Drew Gulak should be an 84. Drew McIntyre, 91. I'm okay with that. I would have pushed anywhere from 91 to 93. That's where I would have put him. Eddie Guerrero, Viva la Laza. God rest his soul. A 90, I would have put him at it. I know they're using him. I know they're using the WCW Eddie Guerrero, but I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'd have made him about a 91, but that's that's just splitting hairs at this point. At least he's in the 90s where he should be. Edge, a 91. I'm sorry. Edge, I love you. You're one of my favorite superstars of all time. But he's out, out of modern day Edge, bro. Like current day Edge. 88 overall, bro. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. 90, he should not be rated the same as Bobby Lashley. Like, I'm sorry. Like, Bobby Lashley is recently a champion, a WWE champion. Why is Edge not? Edge should be one of those ones that's about an 88 overall, 88, 89 overall. I would not have him rated the exact same as Bobby Lashley. That's just me. Elias. And y'all gave this man a 75 overall weight. Motherfucker, why? A 75. The man didn't even deserve an 80 from y'all? Damn. Ember Moon, no longer with the company. Got a higher rate. How the fuck? See, this is what I'm talking about. The stupidity. Ember Moon, though very talented, very big fan of hers. And I'm not even mad at her rating. I'm just more disgusted that y'all got Elias rated lower than Ember Moon, and Ember Moon don't even work for the motherfucking company no more. Make it make fucking sense, bro. <sighs> Eric Bischoff of 69. <laughs> yeah, who didn't see that coming? Eric, a 80. All right. Farouk, a 88. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Fabian, e I Fabian Eichner, a 80. I'm cool with that. NXT talent. Fand Why the fuck is Fandango in the game? He was gone from the company like two years ago. How the fuck? How the hell is he in the game? Bro, I'm starting to get the feeling like they mixed the roster of WWE 2K21 with the roster that's supposed to be with WWE 2K22 and just mash both them bitches together. That's what I'm looking at right now. Because some of these names on here ain't been with the company since 2020, bro. Like, what the fuck? Fandango at 77. I'm not even tripping on that. Why is he even in the game? Waste of a rock, a waste of a roster spot. Can somebody please explain to me why the fuck do they not? Why do you have two character slots for one man? Why is the Demon Finn Balor a 90, a whole nother character, but regular Finn Balor is an 87? They are the same fucking person. Make that a fucking attire and stop with the cap. God damn. Goldberg, 88. I'm fine with that. Grand Metal League, not even with the company no more. 79. Happy Corbin, 81. Should be at 85, since, especially since ain't nobody been kicked out his finish in real life. Should be at 85. I'm not saying that because I'm a fan. I'm just saying you got a motherfucker with a move that ain't nobody kicked out of. You understand what I'm saying? And he's been on a winning streak lately since motherfucking a little after SummerSlam. Motherfucker, he should be at least 85. He should be at 85 overall. Stop. Hollywood Hogan, the motherfucker that can't wrestle. A 92 overall on pure charisma and looks alone. Regular Hulk Hogan, 91. Get. 
why not just make that an attire? And two, how in the fuck and when in the fuck did an older, washed up Hulk Hogan be rated more higher than the prime Hulk Hogan? These <sighs> fucking idiots at 2K. Humberto Carrillo, 77, should be a 79 with his cousin, whatever. Io Shirai, 82, is she even still with the company? I don't even think so. I don't, yeah, Io Shirai's not even with the company no more, so why is it? Another person that's not with the company no more just signed with AEW, Isaiah Swerve, Scott. Not even with the company no more, 80 overall. Ivar, 81. Jake the Snake Roberts, 85, should be at 87. JBL, 88, I'm cool with that. Yet another motherfucker that's not with the company no more, Jeff Hardy, at 85. So let me get this straight. Edge is a 91 overall, but Jeff Hardy is an 85. I think they did that because his ass ain't with the company no more. Or Ronnie 2K is just that fucking dumb. Along with Lionel Spinks over there. I mean, Lionel Spinks. Uh, whatever the fuck Lionel's other name is. Whatever the fuck his last name is. Jerry the King Lawler is rated higher than Jeff Hardy. Why, at any point in his career, has, 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 has Jerry the King Lawler been better than Jeff Hardy? Now, look, this is no disrespect to Jerry the King Lawler, the legend. I am not disrespecting the legend. However, I will say, how in the fuck is he rated higher than Jeff Hardy? Jay Uso, 85, I'm cool with that. Jim the Anvil, Nightheart, cool with that. Jim, uh, uh, 86 overall, cool with that. Jimmy Uso, 85, cool with that. Jinder Mahal should be an 85 overall since he is a former world champion. 77 overall is just not good in my, in my opinion. Joaquin Wild, 79. John Cena, 92. Should be about a 90. He ain't, he don't even wrestle no goddamn mo. John Morrison, not with the company, an 80 overall. Johnny Gorgano, an NXT guy rated higher than the guy who has been a world champion on the main roster. No longer with the company, 82 overall. Jordan Devlin, 79 overall. Kalisto, no longer with the company, a 74 over fucking all. Kane, at any point in time, why in the fuck is he an 82 overall? Karrion Cross is rated higher than Kane. And this motherfucker ain't even with the company. Why? Kylie Ray, 81 overall. Keith Lee, who is just, who we just saw wrestle for AEW not too long ago, he in the game, 80 overall. How in the fuck is Karrion Cross rated higher than Keith Lee? When, where, why, and how? Kevin Nash, 90 overall. Kevin Owens, 85. Why? Should be higher. King Nakamura, I'm cool with that. Kofi Kingston, cool with his. Kushida, cool with hers. Kyle O'Reilly, not even with the company no more. 81 overall, whatever. Lacey Evans, 81 overall, though she ain't been on TV and it seemed like four fucking years. Two fucking years. Two, two to four fucking years. Lana ain't been with the company in forever. 71 overall, why is she in the game? Lince Dorado, not with the company no more. Why is she in the game? Liv Morgan, okay, I'm cool with that. Mace, whatever, who cares about anybody from fucking Retribution? Macho Man Randy Savage should be a 90 plus overall. Mandy Rose is an 80 overall. Why? This is the only motherfucker I have seen get called, go to the motherfucking NXT, get called up to the main roster, and then get demoted all the way back to NXT because she couldn't wrestle for shit on the main roster. 80 overall. Motherfucker, why? Monsoor is an 80 overall. Why? Marcel Bartel, whatever. Uh, Maurice, 79 overall, whatever. Mia Yim ain't with the company. Why is she in the game? Mickey James is literally working for fucking Impact and yet in the game. Why? Megan Dollar Man, okay, cool with that. Montez Ford, all right. Buddy Murphy, Buddy Murphy. Why is he in the game? 77 overall. Mustafa Ali should be at least an 82 and 82. MVP is an 80. Fine. Whatever. Naomi should be at least an 82. Natalia, I'm cool with that. Naya can't help but break everybody to fuck up Jax. Can't help but botch Jax. Naya botched Jax 
ain't with the company no more. Last thing, last an image of anybody got of her was her splitting Becky Lynch the fuck open, her three piece and motherfucking Charlotte Flair, all the way into fucking oblivion and squealing like a goddamn pig when motherfucking she got her arm broke, kayfabe wise, by motherfucking the queen of space, Shayna Baszler. 82 overall. Nikki A.S.H. is an 82 overall, I guess because her recent championship run, whatever. Oni Lorcan, let me know. I don't even think he with the company no more. Let me know if he in NXT or uh, if he in NXT UK. Otis is a 77 overall. Why? Papa Shango, whatever. Pete Dunne should be higher than that. Peyton Royce ain't with the company. Why is she in the game? R-Truth, okay. Randy Orton is an 88 overall. Motherfucker, why? He should be at least a 92 overall. Raquel Gonzalez, okay. Raul Mendoza, okay. Razor Ramon, an 84, should be higher than that. Reckoning, one of them fucking cast-offs from goddamn Retribution, whatever. Rey Mysterio, a rating to be determined. But you won't motherfucker. You can't even give us a rating on the motherfucker, but you want us to pre-order some shit. Stupid motherfuckers. So... Prime Rey Mysterio in 2005 is rated lower than older washed up Rey Mysterio in 2022. Make that shit make sense. World champion Rey Mysterio in 06 is rated lower than washed up old, you know what I'm saying, veteran, washed up veteran Rey Mysterio. What? <sighs> Whatever. It's about the dumbest. No, it ain't no whatever. What the fuck were y'all thinking with this? How the hell is older, washed up, 17 years older Rey Mysterio in a tag team with his son rated higher than any of his past world championship forms? Are y'all stupid? Don't answer that because you motherfuckers are. Rhea Ripley, 86, cool with that. Ric Flair, 88. The 16-time world champion is rated at 88 overall. How in the fuck is he not at least a 92 if you're going to put prime Ric Flair in here? Ricochet, 82, that should be at 85. Riddle, I'm cool with that. Road Dog Jesse James, if you're using the prime one, I'm cool with that. Robert Roode, okay. Roger Strong, okay. Roman Reigns, a 95. You know he's going to be the highest rated motherfucker on the game. Roddy Roddy Piper should be a 90. Sami Zayn should be at least an 80 fucking 5 to an 86. Samoa Joe ain't with the company no more. 86 overall. Why is he in the game if he ain't with the company no more? Y'all fired this man two times in the past fucking year. For no fucking good reason. Santos Escobar, I have no idea who that is. I'm, a, I'm, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Sasha Banks, an 88. Okay, cool with that. Scott Hall, rated a 90. Okay. Seth Rollins, 91. Cool with that. Shane McMahon literally gets fired by his own goddamn dad and still makes it in the game. Why? I don't even give a shit about a rating. He shouldn't even be in the game. Shawn Michaels, an 88. Prime Shawn Michaels should be at least a fucking 90. Shayna Baszler, 84. Sheamus, at 85. Cool with that. Shelton Benjamin, okay, cool with that. Shotzi, 77. Cool with that. Slapjack is a fucking afterthought. Who cares? Sonya Deville, okay, cool with that. Why is Stephanie a playable fucking character? Uh, Six, okay, cool with that. T-Bar, who cares? Tamina, okay. Tinga Knox, not even sure she's even with the goddamn company. She can't stop blowing her fucking knee out. She's the female Kevin Nash to me because she can't stop blowing her fucking knees out. The Brian Kendrick, not with the goddamn company no more. 74 overall. The Miz is an 86. The Rock, why is he a playable character? 93. Okay, whatever. Timothy Thatcher, an 80. Whatever. Titus O'Neil, don't even know if he even wrestled no more. Why is he in the game? 76. Tommaso Ciampa, 84, cool with that. Tony Storm, not even in the fucking company anymore. Literally got released the day after her goddamn world championship match with Charlotte. Still in the game, why? Trent Seven, whatever. Triple H, 91, whatever. Though older Triple H should not be a 91. He should be in the 88 range. Trish Stratus, 88, cool. Tucker. The man that's been gone for almost two fucking years is in this game. Why? Tyler Beta, 82. Okay, whatever. Tyler Breeze ain't with the company no more. Ain't with the company no more. Why is he in the game? Ultimate Warrior, 88. Should be a night, at least a 90. And you got the three versions of The Undertaker that you could play for free in 2K and, and 2K19, but for some reason, they make you pay for them this time around. 93 Minister of Darkness, Phantom Mask, uh, 88. Cool with that. 
Boneyard match, Undertaker, Mortal Pack, 91. Okay, cool with that. And finally, Xavier Woods is an 86. <sighs> they, looking at some of these ratings, bro, you can tell these motherfuckers don't watch wrestling. There's no way. There, 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 there's no way. They say it hits different. You goddamn right, because it's hitting me all the wrong ways. I'm done. <laughs>